Hello, hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. I feel like I've said that like a million times today because I'm actually reviewing all these things and trying to play catch up on like an extreme level. Um, this is probably one of the few that isn't far behind. Uh, this is episode five of Big Order, so we're looking at that today. Oh, dude, I am so <laughs> I'm honest with you guys and girls. I am tired. Anyways, so this episode, I'm gonna be honest with you, was very very strange, even for Big Order snakes. Um. And I'm going to tell you right now that what essentially I'll go over the very beginning of this episode. You're going to be staring at this image, which is a nice, you know, weird flowery garden like universe type thing. Because half of the first episode, maybe like the first, I kid you not, maybe the first four minutes of the show was full of fan service in the sense that everyone was at the hot springs and all the girls were doing very typical anime things i'll say that much and i'm not gonna put that up there because i have a feeling that would get me in trouble because half of that even though it was censored was still creepy you know in the terms of fan service i mean you know come on like fan service is we understand it it's okay once in a while but damn that was a lot of fan service in the beginning of this anyways so what we actually have to we're more so is relevant actually and more relevant is that we have senna who's you know uh ag's sister she wakes up and unfortunately is then told about the whole her condition which apparently she did not know very much about she had a feeling about it but she found out that she's only gonna have a few months to live now they do learn that there is an order that actually has the ability to apparently cure any incurable disease and they're gonna send her there eventually but of course when he tries to send her that's a whole different story but realistically what apparently the tests were for was actually to find out if she was a capable order and then we have a scene which I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let you look at it. Um, I didn't even take all the pictures of it because I have a few pictures of it, but this is the less creepy one, where we have the Senna, who's the sister, and we have Eiji, the brother. We find out that they're not blood related, but they're in the same room together. And I'll just tell you right now that it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that when they're doing this, it goes further. And when you see the images that follow, it goes further when you see that their clothes are all on the floor. So. I don't think you need, you guys and girls need to be to explain exactly what that actually occurred and what happened, but that's creepy. I'm not gonna lie, that 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 was very odd to me. I don't I don't know because I don't know if they actually know if they're brother or sister. That's the thing. If they don't know that, then okay, I understand a little bit more. I guess it's still creepy, but whatever. Anyways, continue on with this very very weird episode. So we then have you know Ag and Rin actually kind of having to go and take over the whole thing of Hiroshima but actually end up more so on a kind of date per se where they're sharing food together and all that and you know it's it's kind of cutesy it's also kind of you know a little bit odd for what this show is doing so far a couple minutes ago but we learned that there actually is someone else with similar power to AG and apparently right away it's you know he's in the background he's doing this creepy face right here he takes over in and a fight ensues where Rin is being the crap out of our orders essentially you know even with the guy who can destroy everyone in one punch he's actually having an issue fighting her he actually gets hurt luckily the main guy shows up i forgot this guy's name i i, I know he said it a whole bunch of times during the episode i forgot what it was but he's like the main leader of the big 10 he shows up and we find out his actual order power is called fact to fiction which allows him to change everything that happened. So he could actually, he tells them like, oh, this, this never happened. This scene didn't happen. This, uh, this, his wounds were recovered. He, Cause apparently AJ did get his arm sliced off at one point by uh, Ren's blade. Now what the most probably one, probably one of the biggest important parts of this whole episode is then we learn who this guy who's controlling Ren now is. And we learn that it's apparently, wait for it, the biological father of AJ. So, yeah. Then, when AJ is calling out to Rin, by the way, what actually is pretty cool that this is probably... It's not the actual last scene, but it, I'm going to use this last scene. We see that Rin actually might still be able to use her mind and might be able to figure out what's going on here. Because she actually makes a face at AJ before, which, when she was fighting, she had, like, this creepy smile on her. She was so happy to be trying to kill him, finally. But now we see this, so that most likely means that she's not under the full control of the other order. Anyways... Yeah, this episode was... I, phew, I don't even know if I have words in the English language to actually explain all the, the feelings and emotions. Uh, it's an amalgamage of different emotions I'm going through in my head. Where I, I don't know if I should be creeped out by it. Like, awesome by it. or Like, how should I feel about this episode, honestly? I don't know. You know, I'm supposed to be the one reviewing and I'm telling you I don't know how I feel about this. Like, it's not a bad episode, don't get me wrong. 
it's just the stuff that happened is so creepy and bizarre. Like, I mean, that scene with, you know, AG and Senna was odd to me. Like, you guys, I only showed the one image of it, but if you've seen this episode, you know that it goes further in. And if you haven't seen this episode yet, I'll tell you right now, it's like, just, I was blown away by what just happened with those two. I don't know why that's happening. And I guess the whole scene with Rena and AG was, or Ren, excuse me, I said Rena. Ren and AG was kind of nice. I mean, that was, you know, a little bit like more so the cliche, but kind of nice cutesy thing because, you know, they are quote unquote husband and wife and, you know, sharing meals and together. I would have showed you a whole bunch of those images because they actually go back and forth sharing different things like ice creams and stuff like that. And he even makes a mention of it later going, you know, we've been indirect kissing this whole time because you keep sharing my food. And she's actually embarrassed by it, but she's actually kind of smiling about it. Which is kind of different because of the fact that she's she's so enamored to kill AG no matter what. Big Order is weird. I'm just going to say that. I think everyone who's watched this show is like, what the hell am I watching? But I have to admit, it's kind of, I guess maybe a guilty pleasure on my part so far. It's kind of interesting. I You know, five episodes left, guys and girls, before the show's over. I, I don't know. I think it's awesome. I really do. Anyways, everyone, though. Uh, that's it for today's review. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm done with the reviews today. No more reviews today. No more videos in, in general. I hope I hope you guys and girls did not mind me kind of just spamming my upload box with different videos. I just want to make sure I played catch up and have everything out today. So this way everything's caught up. Um, oh, wait, no. There is another review I have to do. Damn it. I have to do a ReZero review. Uh, that will be up around 2.30, though. So this gives you get like two hours away from my constant reviews anyways guys and girls though have a great day i'll talk to you later hopefully check out my re-zero review hopefully check out the otaku 18 podcast that goes up today too bye bye everyone